up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Today is Sunday, I believe. Um, this is the first chance I've had to film all day. It's already 3.44. Uh, store's finally empty. We've been so busy today. Um, Abby and Ryan actually just walked down um, a couple stores down. They have, like, a, a place where they sell, like, bubble tea and stuff. So they went down to grab something. Uh, I figured I would start the intro now since there's no customers in here, but we have a ton of stuff to take a look at. Um, we've had... F four trades minimum, maybe five, um, but four for sure. Two of them are, or one of them is pretty big. It includes all of this. It includes all of this. It includes that whole tub and that little stack and some more. So a uh, very nice guy uh, said he watches the videos and everything. He, he drove over here. It was like, I think he said like a two hour trip um, one way. And he made the trip down to trade in a bunch of stuff because his local store closed a while ago. And so he's been saving things up. I guess he does like garage sales and all that kind of stuff. And uh, he said he has a complete Super Nintendo set uh, of cartridges. And now he's just trying to track down boxes of manuals and some other stuff here and there. So um, he traded in all this stuff and he got store credit. He used it to get some of the boxes and manuals that we had in the glass case. Um, he picked out another big stack of manuals, probably, I would say like 20 to 25 manuals and then some other games and stuff as well. Some 360 games. And, uh, yeah, he was a super nice guy. So if you're watching, thank you so much. Um, it was very, really awesome to meet you. So we're going to go through all this stuff when we can. Um, there's so much to show you guys and I can't just like grab it out of a tub and show you. I have to put it back up on the counter, but it was literally covering the entire Nintendo 64 glass case. So uh, we might have to wait until a little bit later to go through some of that stuff, but I'll show you what I can right now. So these are the smaller trades that have come in. We have Persona 5, Cabela's Hunting Expeditions. As you can see, uh, he got this from, from us. Same with Red Dead Redemption and DC Universe Online. And then we have a blue DSi. We have Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time for 3DS. There's an empty case for Sword of Vermilion. I'm not sure if this was part of the trade or not, but it's up here. And then we have this awesome Dragon Quest illustrations book that uh, we're going to be holding on to. Abby was like, we are not selling this. So that is super cool. It also, or we also got with this stuff, a copy of Hyrule Historia, which I actually just sold to a guy. He bought that and a super Paper Mario, or a Paper Mario Thousand Year Door strategy guide. So that was pretty cool. Um, this stuff was part of the big trade-in, so I'll show you what I can now. We have some controllers, and there's like some stuff there. Ethernet adapter. SP boxed memory card, that NES Togbone controller I'm keeping, that is awesome. We have four boxed Game Boy games, which are nothing special, but I probably don't have any of these, so I'll probably be holding on to those as well. There they are. Hi. We have an N64 controller box, a Dreamcast controller in the box. There's a huge stack of disc-only games, nothing Product too placement. special no. in there. <laughs> Sponsored by Coca-Cola. <laughs> and then... Turtles arcade game, and then a bunch of PS1 games. Let me uh, move these over here. Gunfighter, Jurassic Park Lost World, Final Fantasy Chronicles, Star Trek Invasion, Twisted Metal 4, a factory sealed Frogger, but it's greatest hits. I'm surprised you're not keeping that. Um, yes, I, I am. Shack. South Park Chef's Love Shack with no manual. This is a Final Fantasy game. I can't remember what it was. Uh, Final Fantasy 7. Vigilante 8, Final Fantasy 8, Final Fantasy 9, Resident Evil 2, Tarzan, and then Donkey Konga and Corpse Killer for 32X and Sega CD. Then we have another big pile of controllers here. Mainly PS2, there's one N64, a couple blue ones, and a Logitech one with the receiver. Got some toys in this one. Last Action Hero, and then a bunch of X-Men figures. And also an Assassin's Creed figure right there. These are the NES and Super Nintendo games. This first one is Archon. I'm just gonna go through them like this because it's quicker. Archon. Stefan's in there? Yeah. So nothing super, super special in here. It's just a lot of commons, but still. One N64 game there. 
And then some common Super Nintendo games. This one is Championship Pool. This one is College Slam. This one is Scooby-Doo. Really ugly Scooby-Doo. That's the best Super Nintendo game in there. Mario's missing. And then a couple more in there. We have a couple N64 systems, a couple Xbox One Connects. There's a couple more chargers and memory cards in there. And then we have some handheld systems here. This is a nice little boost. A couple DS lights, a couple PSPs, an original DS, and four Game Boy Colors. And then coming over here, there were two books, which I think are like Japanese like mini strategy guides. That's at least what they look like. But... I don't know. I don't think they're really worth too much. I just thought they're kind of cool. Donkey Kong Bongos and Chicken Blaster in the big box for the Wii, which we are going to be keeping. Then we have some loose Genesis games. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Sonic Spinball, Maximum Carnage in the red cartridge, Sonic 1, Street Fighter 2, Sonic 2, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, Tiny Toon Adventures, Aladdin, what was this, uh, Street Smart, I think? This one, I have no idea what it is. It's a blank shell. Uh, Miss Pac-Man, Sonic 1, and Battle Master. And then we have some Game Boy Advance games. Just four. There were more of them, but I passed on a lot of stuff. Then we have NBA Live 96 Long Box, College Slam Long Box, One Piece for Wii, Mario and Sonic, Mushroom Men, Yu-Gi-Oh! for Xbox, Grabbed by the Ghoulies, Grand Theft Auto 5, Advanced or Dungeons and Dragons Heroes, Need for Speed Underground 2, Fable Lost Chapters, Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball, Launches Odyssey, Morrowind, but actually on this one, it's a Game of the Year edition disc, so it's not the correct case for it. Half Life 2, Beatdown, Fist of Vengeance, Voodoo Vince, Nightcaster, and Halo 2 Collector's Edition. There's a uh, Japanese Sega Saturn game, King of Fighters 96, but there's no back cover. I don't know if it came like that or not. Some Genesis games in box. F-15 Strike Eagle 2, Warp Speed, Combat Cars, Primetime NFL, Hard Drive-In, and Subterrania. Then two strategy guides here. Two SP cases. Some of these have, like, cables and chargers in them, but that's it. And then, finally, some other disc-only games here. These were, like, the better ones. Crash Bandicoot, Breath of Fire 4, Return Fire, Digimon World 3, and Resident Evil for GameCube. So, that was the really big bundle that came in. And then, come over here. This was the last trade we haven't shown yet. There's two Xbox 360s. This first one is the Gears of War Edition. It came with two controllers, but they have white battery packs. Um, there's also a regular black one. There's this little Ghost Recon figure. A sealed Toe Jam & Earl for Switch. Two black controllers in there. There's this dock thing. One of these. A sealed NBA Street Home Court, which this one might go on Amazon because it's like $70 on there, but I... I don't think that's an accurate price because used ones are like six bucks, so we'll see. And then this stack of Xbox games, there's nothing too special in here. So just move those out of the way. And then we'll just look at them like this. There's a Wii Sports Resort in here. That's the only like decent one. So and there's a uh, Lego Star Wars 1 and 2 for GameCube at the bottom. So those are all the trade-ins from so far. What are you working on? I'm testing this. Trying out a PlayStation 1 game on it. Seems like it's working just fine. Nice. Silver PS2. This is silver control. What's Abby doing? I just got finished eating my lunch. Eating her pho. At 5 p.m. Yeah, it's getting kind of late. That's, that's what we do here. We eat late. Yep. Um, somebody just messaged me about... Uh, a rare Xbox 360. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm walking over to the gas station real quick to get a snack. Um, we've been doing pretty good with not eating out. Obviously, you saw Abby got some pho. 
Um, today is like the first day that I don't have any like leftovers from like last night's dinner to have for like lunch and stuff today. And when we went grocery shopping the other day, we got some tilapia that's like pre-seasoned and everything. It looks really good. And I put it in the fridge last night from the freezer to let it thaw so that I can cook it when we get home tonight. But I didn't really have anything to bring for today. So we had like some sliced, uh, like, did, like meats, like, uh, whatever. So I had a little bit of that, but it's not enough. And I'm going to cook the fish when we get home, but I need something to sustain me because it's like 7:30, and we're not going to be get home till like 9 30. So I'll walk over here, just grab like a, I don't know, like a bag of chips or something just to have something till I get home. But we're doing really good and I'm happy we've been saving a lot of money already. Okay, awesome. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Who that? I don't know. Uh, somebody who's being mean to me, so that's okay. Are they, what are they coming to get? Um, they're coming for a trade-in. <gasps> here are three more trade-ins that we got today. Stack of strategy guides here. It's all pretty good stuff, actually. This is uh, Final Fantasy twelve art book. That Soul Calibur 2 is like the worst guide out of all of these. The people that traded this in, um, I guess they like found them in their storage or whatever. And they didn't have any of the games, but they did have a bunch of PC games, which, uh, you know, didn't want. But um, they ended up buying a couple things, which is kind of cool. They did take cash, though. Then we have Lego Indiana Jones 2 and Spider Man Web of Shadows for 360. That was our second trade. Then lastly, we have Pac Man World. A factory sealed Fallout 76 with the, uh, the, I guess it's a Walmart exclusive, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, Prototype 2, Blazing Angels, Far Cry 2, Darksiders 2, Beyond Two Souls with the Steelbook, a weird Batman Arkham Origins, X-Men Legends, and Grand Theft Auto 5. And then Killer Instinct and Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy. And then Sonic Advance 2, Fortress, Star Wars, The New Droid Army, and Puyo Pop for Game Boy Advance. The Puyo Pop and the uh, Fallout 76 are both worth about 13 bucks, and those were the most expensive ones out of the lot. But overall, it's not bad stuff. So it's closing time right now, and I figured we'd go through the sales from today once again, because I know you guys enjoy that. So we have 118 items total um we did have the guy that traded in that stuff earlier took store credit so um a good portion of today's sales is part of that store credit but still sales are pretty good so we have two hdmi converters which we need to order more of um, i'm probably going to do that right after i finish going through these um 11 different things of candy today uh oh adventure island 3 complete in box that was 120 right there um, Animal Crossing City Folk, Animal Crossing Wild World, Aqua Kitty DX for the Vita, uh, Battle Stations Pacific, not sure what that was, but it was $15, probably a 360 game, uh, Capcom Platinum Hits Triple Pack for the 360, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 for the 360, Contra 3 with that weird Majesco label, uh, Sib Siberia, I think that was Saturn, Siberia with a C, um, Dead or Alive Extreme 2, Fantasy Life for 3DS, Far Cry Compilation, I don't know what that's for. The Final Fantasy 3 cartridge and box sold, that was 120 as well. A um, couple Grand Theft Auto games, a couple Guitar Hero games, Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Yahtzee sold today. A uh, game called Mayhem, not sure what that was for. Metal Gear Solid. For PS1, we sold two Xbox 360 Guitar Hero guitars. One was the Les Paul model, the other one was the uh, Warriors of Rock version. Uh, they both sold to the same person. A um, couple NBA games, a the Wavebird controller with the receiver that came in recently sold, the one sh the one Shinbara Bikini Samurai Squad, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Strategy Guide, 
Uh, Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, and Pokemon Pearl sold today. A um, bunch of Super Nintendo manuals. Uh, Silent Hill Downpour. Sonic Mega Collection, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Uh, Soul Calibur 4 and Tekken 6, that must have been like a double pack. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2 for original Xbox, the Street Fighter Majesco label. Super Mario 3D Land for 3DS. Super Mario Bros. 2 for NES box and manual. Super Mario World for Super Nintendo. A white Nintendo Wii system bundle. Zombie Army Trilogy. That was either PS4 or Xbox One. PS4. Uh, the Breath of Fire 2 box manual and poster. That was 70 bucks. Robotrek. Um, it was complete, but um, that went to the guy that did the big trade, and he already had the cartridge, so we discounted it down to 85 and he and he let us keep the game. Discounted from 120 down to 85 on that one. Uh, a bunch of cheap games. A manual for Secret of Mana, but there's a ton of other Super Nintendo manuals in there as well. Dynasty Warriors 9, uh, The Suffering for Xbox, Donkey Kong Country 2, Mega Man 2, Pokemon Gold version, Turtles 3, Manhattan Project for NES, and then a Genesis AV cable, a Nintendo AV cable, and a Hyperkin branded GameCube controller. So 118 items total. Pretty good sales. Uh, a little bit lower than yesterday's sales, but still pretty good overall. So before I forget, I'm going to order those HDMI adapters. We are down to... That's all of them out there. Are you kidding me? Is that me? four or five? We're already out? Yeah. The last time I bought them... Or they never go that fast. That's crazy. Yeah, the last time... I'm going to see... Last time we bought them, I bought more than normally. Because typically we buy 13 of them at a time because... When I bumped it up to 14 the shipping went from like $8 to like $36, so it was only worth it to buy them in batches of 13 but this last time that I bought them, I upped it to 25 and the shipping didn't really go up that much. Like The shipping obviously was more expensive, but it didn't make a big jump. Um, so it looks like we bought 25 of them last time. Um... Let me see what happens if I get. Yeah, it's bad. The shipping's back to being weird. Um. So when I have thirteen of them, the shipping is six dollars and eighty-two cents. I put it up to fourteen, and it jumps to fifty dollars and sixty-one cents. So it looks like we're ordering thirteen. And I had to order some pads for the disc resurfacer as well, which I I did earlier already. Man, I really wish that we could get 25 because these things take so long to get here from China and they don't last super, super long, but... Which ones? The HDMI adapters. Oh, I thought you were talking about the... the no, the... These um, HDMI adapters, we sell them for 15 and we can't keep them in stock. I mean... Do you... Are there any, like, um... Game Boy Advance SP batteries as well as uh, original DS batteries available on there, do you think? I can check. Can um, check me? I, yeah. I'm starting to feel like we just need to change out the batteries on some of the handheld systems. We're already doing it for the PS4 controllers, but I just... You probably can't hear Abby, lasting but... lasting very long as of lately. Yeah. So you probably can't hear her, but she's saying that we need to... We, we should get batteries for SPs and DSs because um, th those batteries don't last forever. They're rechargeable, but they still kind of wear out and everything. And I if we can get them cheap enough, it's definitely worth it to well, do. I and Ryan have really started to notice like battery bulges mm -hmm. with the systems more so than a year ago. So I, we just need to make sure that yeah, the batteries we'll, are doing well. We'll look into it. 